Hey, what's up everybody? In this video tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to create the wheel for the jet fighter reverse engineering project. Uh, when taking a look at the dimensions, some people can get a little bit confused on how to kind of go about creating this. Uh, they're trying to figure out the revolve and so on. Well, there's a much easier way to create this. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to go ahead and just create a new part studio. And the first thing I'm going to do is use sketch. I'm going to create this on the front. And what I'm going to do is draw a circle here on the outside, and that's going to be a diameter of 0.81. And then I'm going to create a concentric circle on the inside, and that needs to have a diameter of, looks like 0.195. Okay, so that is done. So I'm going to green check it, put this into an isometric view, and now we can use extrude to extrude that profile. And it looks like our overall thickness needs to be 0.248 for my depth. So 0.248. We have the wheel, and we're ready to go. All right, so last thing we have to do is just create, you know, the rounded over, you know, sort of face on this. And we know that our overall thickness is 0.248, so who's to say we can't just use two fillets that are going to be half of that distance, and those fillets would have a radius of 0.124. All right, so if we come up here and pick on fillet, we're going to make sure that our fillet has now been changed to a radius of 0.124, and now all I have to do is pick on this edge, and then pick on this edge, green check it, and since uh, those radius uh, both added up to the overall thickness, we can see that there is this sort of seamless transition, you know, for that rounded uh, face. So it's just a really great cheater way to achieve that without having to go in and set up the profile for revolve. We can do that simply through extrusion and fillets. So there you go. That's the easy way to create the wheel for the Jet Fighter reverse engineering project.